day before yesterday when we were doing a lot of edits and stuff. And um, most of the times when you see me, I I want to believe that you may think that I'm coming from a day before so but I cannot succumb from that. But for today, I want us to finish up the jury. Now when we deal with the juries, you can be sure the backup is on the way coming. And I told you I can teach you some things today because I love you. <laughs> but just as I when you think, or when the deal is too good, yeah, you will drink again. So, the leakage, yeah, I told you, we're going to give you two questions. One is going to be on the uh, code of ethics for Canada and interpreters. Then the other one is going to be on deaf culture. And some of you are not there when you read the, the code of ethics. And I will put that because it is the note in your book, so that you may check through uh, and then uh, make sure that you are able to understand all of them. We also discussed qualities of a good interpreter, and I'm happy that when we were doing the, the recording, I could see some of you are remembering this you try to remember, yes, and uh, also Mary, by focusing on where the camera is. Remember, we say the best communicate by the use of their eyes. I know you are listening to me if you look directly at me. And when I'm signing to you, then I should also look at you. Because my listening your signs is by using my eyes. So it is important always to maintain eye contact. Come on, Coco Studio. It's good that you know the eye, the other eye that you should maintain contact with is the camera. So the camera is there. And then when I'm signing or communicating, then my eyes should uh, maintain that contact with the camera. How many audience come out when you move or sit there? Then I should maintain my contact with the camera. Now, some of the things that we discussed that, uh, last time, they're going to come back today. Now, they're going to come back because they are part of the kind of ethics for interpreters. You still find them, they're coming back when you are discussing. I'll start with asking, when we talk of culture, what do you understand by that? Because we have different cultures, and I think we also come from different cultures. And when we talk of culture, what comes to your mind closer? Greece. Rosa, at the culture, and a clear member of beliefs. Which kind of beliefs? The way you're talking, church, about like the seer. When you talk of culture, what comes to your mind? How people live. Okay, let me get maybe another opinion. Uh, tradition of the people. A tradition of the people, I think in the end of like the way she said, a tradition is a way, is a culture. I think that's okay. Life. Culture is life. That's also an opinion. I think we'll discuss it. Madam or Jess? Uh huh. And I think she has just summed it. They started by beliefs. Then a uh, way of life, tradition, life. But the way she has put it, I think I'll pick it from there. Culture is a way of life. And this way of life may be uh, given over or passed on to the next generation. And most of the times, and that's why I was asking Rosa about her beliefs, uh, most of the beliefs are traditional beliefs. The way of doing things traditionally. Like when we come to our tribes, I think we have different tribes here, I think of two tribes. When we come to culture, is the way of life. Kama culture wa Kikuyu is the way of life by the Kikuyu people. When 
we talk of the way of life, I'm a cutter, I'm a spy, I think it's so dominant even today. There is a way you can look at a guy, and even without being told that this is a Maasai, you can be able to say, Kuna kikuyu kacha yenye munajua? Kikuyu kacha? I don't tell me either so. I think you have to make a request. Kikuyu kacha? Like naming our, our children. Do you see your name for somebody? There's an, an older person who's called your name, and then you are given that name, and the name continues. In some cases, with you, maybe your key is another person, and then you are, and then uh, maybe in the future, there will be another smaller your key. That's uh, one way of our culture. Even cooking, the way we cook, I think it's very, it's very, is it? Uh, with other tribes mostly. I think it's very originated by Kuyu, which they used to call Irio. And then uh, there is that way of Kuyu, uh, of life. Kunawajero, what do those eat mostly? Ugarina and fish. We get to Tunaju and we don't know where it came from. Wabaluya, what they love. Ingoho, ukienda pare kwao, unapewa kikuku, kuswa, unakameshwa hivi. Kwa tresia, na hii ugari, na usudana huo. Kudana huo kusabu lazima umalize huo ugari, na hiyo kuku lazima hii. Ishi. Unafura hiki, unapewa, unaanza. Along the way, unawa sasa hini unatesu. Lakini, it's their way of life. Unakacha ya wameru. Uyu atafuti wa mahali ya olewe mwana Kwa sababu hajui Hajui kacha ya wameru Ama kama kina kacha ya wameru But we understand what kacha So when we come to The death kacha Then we are talking about The way of life Of the death people Wanaishi na mnagani One thing I would like us to remember Is that the death Are born within our cultures, our different cultures. There are deaf who are born in Mombasa, others are born in Kisumu, others are in Central Province, others are all over the country, and even outside of Kenya, there are so many deaf. And the way our cultures are, sometimes we want the deaf to adopt our culture. But I'd like to bring it to you today that the deaf have their own culture. One, they believe that they are not a disabled group because we we'll kind of group them among the, uh, the disabled pe uh, people or persons with disabilities. But the deaf themselves believe that they are not a disabled kind of a group. They believe they are a minority group. They believe they are a small tribe which has not been recognized. And why do they believe so? Because most of the times, culture is defined by, uh, by, by, by language, mostly, is defined by language. Wakikuyu wanajua kikuyu, wakamba wanajua kikamba, wameru wanajua kimeru. So these guys, you know different uh, languages and different cultures, because they are in those cultures. You adopted your culture. Because you came into it and you found people doing it that way and you also fall the same. And that is now our own cultures. We want the deaf also to adopt our cultures, which sometimes it is not possible because they believe they are not part of us. One, they do not use our language. They have their own language. And that's why Utakuta a deaf from a, a, a one particular tribe, a grandma from coast, will not have uh, any problem marrying a Luo from Nyanza. But when us hearing people want to marry, it's like you want to marry within our, 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 our tribes. I know Mary, 
would have had a problem with our culture. So I, would, I don't know if you know Mary comes from Western, although she's a Vican, she's from this area, she's Jockey, but she's a, a Westerner. She's from Western. Nyanza. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're married in a different culture. By the time she's getting married to that culture, our people, our waze, could have sat and tell her, why are you getting married to those people? Will you be able to cook for them? You know, they start discouraging you from getting to another culture. But let's say if you tell your mom you are getting married to a low man, then you don't have <laughs> I, I know of a story of a lady, a mama, Mustiana Kamahawa, and Abia Mamake. I have visitors on Saturday. Now, most of the times, my mama at Tia Mustiana at Seman from our Gemi, Kuna Pixa in a Yagaqua, for my age. And I was at Tia Niwagano and Namagani. And I'm Mulisa, what kind of threats are coming on Saturday? I have your partner, Kuna Rafiango. You know, that's where the story starts. Another Kunja funny introduction. And then uh, this guy is from Kikuyu Hapa Kiambu. And on Saturday, Mama made our, our Mama Wengine, Wamekuja, Wamepika, and then Wagen Wanangojewa, Sanane Wanakuja. During introductions, the first is all bigger. The other one is all, all nine, Otieno. The other one is Omolo. Wakaenda, wakaenda, wamei, waka wamwisho. Hiro wamwisho, sasa mama kakijua, jiehu, jiehu yu. Then ato yu wamwisho, jina ikakuja ni, oh. Then mama, alianza kuoba, akiripend. Anato mungu, mungu nume kukosea makosa gani. Na wako mungu nisame, ume kifanya na mna gani. You know, imagine, alianza even repenting, na wanaona, amekosea mungu, God is punishing her. That's what our cultures have done. They came back to a different culture. They want us to remain in our culture when our culture is lost. There, if you are from Zungu, then it's like, "Wow, you don't want to walk away. You don't want to move to Hapa. Zungu is not enough. You don't want to move to Zungu. You don't want to move to Hapa. 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 But they cannot fit in our culture. One, because they believe they are not part of us. But above all, I am deaf. Now, why the deaf man give me? How do you now get the same language with them? And so there is that challenge. I want you to go knowing that. We tend to pare inje wherever yakomba. The deaf don't have a problem uh, living with other tribes. Marrying other tribes, moving aloud with other tribes. But since you are hearing, you want to influence them. You want to like kind of force them to come to our culture and live our way. Now, and I'm going to summarize, I want us to check what we call aspects of the deaf culture. I'm the characteristics that deaf people among what to about what to our deaf culture when we talk about this i would like you to ask yourself why are we teaching you this why am i interested in letting you know this we say when you are doing a, a the code of ethics of the Africa, that it is important to understand the culture in which you are going to interpret one, you need to understand that you are also going to interpret in a culture that is full of deaf people. Then you need to understand the young culture. So that was in the funny key to equal offenses, equal not appealing to some of the people there. Now, Pia Okiona what behaves in a certain way, then you should be able to understand they don't have a problem. That is the way of their life. Okay, in quotes, 
akupitia chakula na akuwekea supu ijaye kwa sahani don't compare it ujue hiyo ni ndio wanapi wanapita kama ni ni, ni unakanga nini sana sana leo kusembei <laughs> wanapeka kidheri ukienda kwa kwa mmeru akupakulie kidheri na wewe ni mgeni ndio unapeaga hata wageni Mbele uh, nani uh, Joyce ningekuja kutambia kwani unikuwa mgeni what will you hope for us na kuja na hawa wangu wangu eh niko nimesema na kuja mchele dufu na tunyama kidogo you have to fish the, the meat from the big sufuria and to kuja kwenu hatuwezi tarajia kutafuta umefikia samaki can you expect days to end up with this kupe amenusia 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 baada yingine afa na tabia karibuni na mkula na ugali kienda kwao tutasitwa hiyo days kwani unakuanga mtu mwingine ndani nje ni mtu mwingine you know na kitu kile na kitu kile share chapati ni nyingi kamukimo kamukimo kahorora you know kahorora <laughs> kamukimo ya green ni kaka hizo hizo ni vitu ziko tofauti ya kienda kisumu tunaweza kutayarisha appetite yetu what do you expect around the way some fish no kienda kisumu rudi huko kama hauja kula samaki hata ni kama hata umetukosea mpaka hatujajua sababu kienda kisumu kata ya huko ni ya samaki na ugali and that's what i need you to know understand other cultures and adopt them kuna zile vitu tunaitanga kata show have you heard of kata show kata show and many maybe you have come across kata show vitu zinakushikua wewe kwa sababu sinafanya na watu wengine lakini kwenu hamfanyaji Joyce Joyce uh, Joyce uh, uh, yo, Joyce Kario When last did you eat a snake? <laughs> Never. Never. And what if I served you a piece of Let's see, have you ever eaten a snake? Would you like it? Why? Yeah. Bonus pool and dinner. Now it's going to be on a two. It's going to be on a two. I have a friend when I'm in China. Now, I'm going to China. I'm going to a hotel. Now, I'm going to go to the fire. I'm going to go to the meal inakuwa na na sahau hiyo meals kama buffet kwa na chakula mingi na kuna ile tunaita starter kwa starter akaeka soup akaenda kakati na atakunywa soup pale chini ya bakuri ukabaki kitu ndele <laughs> kuangalia na ametoka Nairobi Kenya alipoiangalia akaiangalia akaona hii is joy kula msita wa kula lakini supu iko ndani kwa ndani ndani kwa ndani and then this way how do i survive that's what i'm calling kacha show sasa yeye amechukua wengine na mtu nikiwa tayari mbona ukuri si ukuri amwambia sisi kwetu snails is a no go zone lakini siku iko ndani already ile chakula yote nilikuwa kwa line ikamshi kamshinda acha my friend akonde ndio mbona kirudi hapo alikuwa anatembea like one ila number one acha eight but alikamuliza baadaye ulikula sababu wewe ulikuwa umekaa China 6 months na hujawahi kula 
then he tells me what I nikwambie mimi nilishtuka mpaka nikata na nimekula vitu na mavitu lakini kwa hii dunia tutawahi sema sijawahi kula hiyo sababu zile vitu nimekula mimi sijui nini ni nini Of course, that is the main meal in 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 China. So, but si kukula kama nakula mbwa, lakini najua lazima nimeiku nimeikutana nayo mahali nikakula. That's what we're calling attitude. Vitu ambazo hujazoea, alafu tena kwa wale unapoka ziko na wao hawana shida. Wewe ndio unabaki ukiwa na shida. And we usually tell people, especially if you are traveling outside the country, one of the things that you are going to meet is what we are calling culture shock. Ukuta vitu ambazo hujawahi zoea. Unakuta mpaka mavazi vile mnazoea kuvaa vile mnavaa. Watu wengine wanakaa to this way. And that other hapa Kenya to Turkana. Ukuta nakedness ya huko ni from here downwards. Na huku juu hakuna mahali kuko uti kila mtu anatembea freely ukienda Congo in Congo that's why you find another culture shock kwa sababu ukiwa mgeni like I thought or was asking Joyce in Kenya tunakutijia kabuzi na kura na tunafurahi mgeni amekuja ametimjiwa buzi ama kakuku ukienda Congo they go looking for monkeys sababu kiko na mgeni special Unasijua kama anki kana chomo vizuri na tunafurahi mgeni anevidika. So unaenda siku ya kwanza. Ngoko. Afu na safiwa unaambiwa ya soha pili tu. Na utakuma tu utakula. Bado in Congo ananana in charge. Kutoka west kuja huku juu is also not naked. Nakedness ni kutoka hapa mpaka kwa miguu. Huo lazima ienda inapeperusha na ina, inafagia mchanga ukitembea. Lakini na huku juu nobody is concerned even in church. Na mimi nimetoka Kenya mahali dada va vizuri dada, you know. And then uh, unaenda na uko kwa church kila mtu ni kama ako uchi kulingana na mimi na mimi. Lakini wao hawana shughuli wewe unakuja na nguo kairo samera. No more was to look at you for you are naked. Lakini ukiwaangalia wao watanio that's what I'm talking about. Acha show na inakuja in different forms in different ways. So I want us to look at what we call aspects of deaf culture. Zile vitu zikile tunazijua zingine zitashukua along the way. One use of sign language to communicate. So in every culture there is a language. Now in the deaf community the language of communication is sign language. It could be Kenyan sign language, American sign language, any other language. That is one. Number two is the use of sign names for is in identification do you have a sign name Tracia? sign name you have karaoke you don't have a sign name what happened what happened you don't have a sign name okay. really you have a sign name you have a sign name Joyce i have a sign name do you know my sign name Joyce Yeah this is my sign name. Oh. So how comes you don't have a sign name? We need to give you a sign name. You are there and calling to us here. Okay. Christia, you sign name? Oh, Christia. So a sign name, I believe you know what it is. The days look at you and then uh, out of the future you have 
or maybe a particular thing that you have at that time, they give you a sign name. And a sign name is useful because the deaf don't use their voices to call out name. They don't call Rosa. They cannot do that. Then the other way that they can call is through finger spelling. And then when you do finger spelling, you cannot keep finger spelling like you are in a meeting, you are registering names, you cannot keep uh, spelling finger spelling. So what do they do? They look at you, they give you a sign name. They looked at me and they gave me this sign name. And anytime they sign or I sign this as my sign name, some other people outside there, including you, they would know that is Paul. Zikina unaida unakuta katresia, unaida inashikana na sign ya mtu mungine, atakina taa kwa matina ingine, but it is good to hold on to our sign name as the deaf do. It's not uh, surprising when the for deaf community, like you go to deaf church, and then waurize, do you know so and so? Mufanie jina, free a Paul. And then they wanna, mm, so Paul. They don't know who is Paul. And then you, you you tell them, sign name, Paul. Then all of a sudden, oh, Paul, we know. So it's not a wonder, wameka kwa moja, but majina yao, hawajuani. And that's what I told you, you can be surprised sometimes. How come hawajuani majina? What they know, I know, Lucia, I know Rosa, your sign name? Rosa, Paul, and Emma. You know, Majina Yavoy Natumia Isha. What you need to know as interpreters that the giving out of sign names is a prerogative of the deaf people. We don't give sign names. But there are aspirations that we can do that. Umenda Kwamputano, and in that meeting, Kuna watu wanaongea watu wenye hujui sign names zao. So what happens? But then I could shield out the finger spell, like the Resia. Every time she's mentioned, we want to do that name. You just give her a sign name. And you remember, we, you know how to do business, blah, blah, blah. So you give her a sign name, and then any other time she is mentioned, you use that sign name. But that sign name is only useful in that meeting. After that meeting, your sign name is Naku, Nakufa. But in the piano and a deaf, Nakama Yako is on a deaf, you carry it wherever you go. Ukienda could introduce and say, Hello, my name is Paul, sign name Paul. Nakam is a deaf maintain. Ukakawa sign name. It's good this, at this time to so have you have a choice. Okay, you never had an opportunity to choose your, your name. Did you choose to be called Joyce? Only put a two or a chagu and jina. The guinea Teresia on the Rizu Areo, the guinea on the Penapuitoa, Teresia, on the Penapuitoa, Diana. You know, you did not have a choice of your name, but the test allows you. And most of the time they'll ask you, Are you comfortable? sign name, then they ask, are you comfortable? If someone is comfortable, then and I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm going to ask you, 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 I'm going to ask you. When I check in the world, because I'm in the media, the guys on the TV screens, Sometimes they are influencing the giving out of sign name. Wow, kuna mtu wa meongewa kuhusu, mhusu, and then there is no sign name, na akachagua sign name katika iyo, iyo, iyo kipindi ya kutumia kwa ajide liyo mtu. Then the people outside here, the deaf wa kitazama, wanaona hile sign name kimepeano, and they drink iyo sign name diyo official na wanayadok. Kwa hivu nakuta hiyo jina imepeano na mtu wa kwa ufio def, lakini def wa mekubari kuitumia. But on normal circumstances, don't give sign names. Now expect that next time, those sign names will still be 
in youth. Okay, point number three is about getting attention from other people. You want to call somebody who is away from you. How do we do that? One, let me give a scenario like you are in a meeting. And in that meeting, you want to raise a point. How do you raise a point? You just raise your hand. That's one way of getting attention. You raise your hand. The other way, you can wave your hand huh? like this. You can wave your hand. Like, I have a point and uh, the chairman is there. I can wave at them. The other way you can get attention or I want attention of another person. It's like, I am here, Rosa is there, I want to talk to her. Then, she is not looking at me. So how do I get her attention? I wave my, my hand. In case she does not see me, and Rosa, Tresia, and Aona, and Amufanya, what am I supposed to do? You get her attention for me. So, I think you have seen what she has done. Kama ako karibu na mimi, it's different. Kama ako bari, I wave. Kama ako karibu na mimi, I tap on his or her arm. Which part of us is our arm? <laughs> our arm, I think, is the entire, I don't know, from here, to the other end. So you can tap here and you can tap here in the part of the hand. And there's a difference between tapping and slapping. And there. So I'm going to take advantage because I want to tap. Mary, I get an opportunity of slapping. So you don't Kick, slap, or push. No. I want to get your attention and then I smile, wewe, wewe, naitwa, you know. You just tap. Then uh, there's like a feet, and I want you to get this. You don't tap any other part of the body for where the arm. So you don't tap the head. You don't tap the back. You don't tap any other part. It's a particular opportunity you want to go 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 in the name of tapping. Official, just tap the hand. One uh, other thing, you should never, never draw an object to a person to get their attention. Sabu Kobari, Nangaria, Amawe, Narusuna, Narusha. Ama na narua kalatasi na umaruma na Rusia. You should never throw an object to a third person. Kama kobari na na haoni, then the person who is next to them can help by tapping them. Unam tap, unam wanyesha. Unam tap, unam wanyesha. Do they allow you? That's how you. In case that you wanted to get an attention of a person who is deaf, then what happens? You wanted an attorney and then you are doing like this. What do you do? Come on, Mr. Peter, let it go. You either rush to them. Ama wabia mtu mingine akusimamie au akusimamishie. Lakini kama ni mtu hearing unamwambia akusimamishie death. How are they going to do it? Watamwambia wewe. Wewe. Eh anga leti. Kwa sababu sasa pia ame amenyeta dio hata hajibu. So ana anaachana na anaachana na na yeye. So ukiona mtu amefanya hivi na haoni huyo na ameenda 
wacha kuitana kuachana naye wacha aye aende mkakutana wakati mwingine kwa kata yetu ref kacha hapo hivi kama siko sawa isalimia mtu hivi alafu hakuona ukajisikia kama mkono uta distract kichwa unairudisha chini unaweka kwa mfuko na naangalia kama kuna mtu ameona ameona have you had that experience umesalimia mtu na hajaona unaangalia tu ya kile na una feel ni kama umeindika kwetu hapa hatufai kuindika ukikana mtu hivi na hajaona that's part of us hiyo isikusumbue ukimfanya hivi na hajaona na ameenda wewe endelea na kazi yako achana na ye na yeye we should learn to accommodate that within us number four is use of good lighting for communication to take place that's a repetition we say the best use their eyes to listen so if you are going to communicate using the language then there has to be sufficient light kama ni usiku na stima iko tayari can we continue talking we cannot continue talking we must have a way of being in light and then you are able to see kama uko mahali kuna hakuna mwangaza na unataka kuongea ama unatembea kwa barabara usiku by the way wapo tabia ya usiku na dev kwa jina you talk you, you cannot be able to talk unless sasa mtafute dinu ya kuleta mwa mwangaza kitambo wakati tunakuwa na, na simu kulikuwa tunasema na afisha ta customer imeenda afisha ta ama torch a torch is still there in this world kuna torch ili akichana akisha torch kama hauna torch nowadays tuko na phone na hizi phones zetu ziko na mwangaza phone yako iko na taa hiyo taa itumie bring in some light kwa environment yenu huko na dev so that can be good lakini asiye hiyo so when you're using a, a phone or a torch you are supposed to place it either on a table or a bed with the lamp or the, the bar facing it up then whatever comes to our faces is what we call all peripheral light mwangaza tu yeye inatoka hapa lakini haikuti kwetu direct otherwise you cannot be i want to see two toys and then a uh, murika and uh, what's you know what you happen the, this light is going to light and it's going to dazzle you and you're not able to see so usimulike watu directly na tukiweka simu zote zetu hapa na tuweka mwangaza juu na kukuwa na giza you can be sure you do that aha sitting arrangement should be that table Oh same circle. Na nitaongeza kitu kingine kwa sababu hiyo note pengine ime change. Yeah? Loud table what does that mean? When you make ka hapa sahi is not the best way. Kwa sababu if Joyce was to sign then you may need to turn around. Na Joyce pengine ainame nyuma ama songa bere so which is the deaf way of sitting there are three ways we can sit the way we are seated here the person facilitating is in front then you sit the way you are sitting but then uh, the guys behind you are higher we call it staircase the staircase way of sitting yani inakonga mbembe kwa cinema house or auditorium ya kwamba wenye wako mbele wako chini wenye wako nyuma wako juu kidogo mpaka wale wako nyuma kabisa wako juu if you don't have such a, a sitting arrangement then we sit either loud table loud table is having a, a circular way 
and then we all feed allowed that table. Fact that nobody is in front of the other, and nobody is blocking the other. When we sit in a circular way, we are able to see each other. The other one is the semicircle, and it's almost like the round table. We sit in a semicircular way, and then can mimi na ongea na ketch hapa there. Like though you are seated here, we ask Kloster to come here, and we ask Chris to come here. And then I am here. And then now uh, we are able to see each other without turning this way, without turning this way, and without blocking in a one of us. Why do we need to think about the sitting arrangement? It is still the same point. The deaf use their eyes to, to listen. So they need to see each other. I need to see where we may go and on the police sorry. I need to see what you are asking. And that means listening to you. Opening doors without knocking is not a rule. Did I tell you about how I and then uh, I went to an office which had uh, what we call uh, glass panes translucent. You cannot see it through, but you can see Dan Kunawatu. And then I was seeing people moving from here or I can see only clearly. And then I keep knocking. I knock. And then uh, I'm a courteous person, Nataka Hashima, to the Nesma Paran and Gojia and Gojia and Nesma and Nesma and Gojia. And then the people who are going to be able to do this, they are going to be able to do this. Do not knock. Just open. Why do you think that was? Because the, all the guys inside there, they are deaf. So when you knock, nobody will hear. So most of the times, the deaf will open doors without necessarily knocking part of their culture. But because of privacy, they have adopted a way. Instead of just opening, you know, you can come and open your, oh, I come to your house, I knock, nobody's opening, I open and I get in. And then they put a wewe, mwekabe, unataka, unataka, So, they have a, a way. They knock, nobody comes in to check, then they push the door. If nobody comes in, they push it further. If nobody comes, then they can be able to in one come at Kuna Mutua to happen, come at Kama Hakuna. When you are made the last time to easy, but I have to wake a doorbell when I wake a Kegere, a steamer, a Mwangaza, a blade light. Yen Yakunja, the copper and Kipinia, but I bear and Mazoya Idea, Stima de Nawa, Nawa and Fiona, Major Kuna Mutua, or Gay. Now, when you are in the area, Zaidi Zaidi Zaidi, you are put a Mahari, you are better eco, you are camera, you are an anani, you are an anani, as a Congolian Koran has a figure, do them. Did you get that also? When I was a Congolian Koran, I get a Nakai Wako, Nakabia, so far. At some you cannot scream, I find a chapter when you are attacked, if you are pale, or Sarabu, how to raise that. I have a friend when I may be one Kuku and I be one to Majirani Wakila Wakiwuja and our Australian year and a Wuja. A letter was read here in Vika Gioni, Messiah Gioni, and another way of Jamari from a yoke, depend on the Kamari poor. Either death, I'm a mutu and do a high amount of an onga. Somebody can do a who your mom has a figure, do no. So I'm a foot of one yunga, I'm a ship one, Najama Menda. No catch a menda, do your mama and a top. Zabu half ways are for cream. So who needs all challenges for security? Then you want a fat for Angaria to cast my son of the warm lango, come a hoon, cannot knock. The other Thing about opening doors. See, Obizuri, 
Kwa sababu tumesema hivyo, then tuseme sisi ni wadev culture. Na kila mahali unaenda unafungua mlango. Wakati. Mm. Ama dev culture. Ina mtu. Heshimu watu na wacha maisha yao yaendelee kama kawaida. Use of vibration mode on their form. Kuna mtu ameenda dev church. I don't know mtu ameenda really dev church. But it is good when you have a moja na wone venye utasukuliwa na masini. So the forms that they are using they keep pouring. The forms keep pouring. Once in a while the form is pouring. Once in a while the form is pouring. And along the way you discover sorry what is that? You, along the way, you discover, you discover what? <laughs> they need to use their forms and the vibration mode. And that was the from that. Form is clear and I've come back. If you look at this one, when I put that, every form is falling. Every form is going to be and they are not disturbed. They are not disturbed because they cannot be able to hear. Na ida wanatumia sana ni vibration. So kama hakuna vibration, hawezi kusikia na hawezi kujua sinu na kitu. So you use your forms of vibration, na ata kuwarafu mutu ya kwamba, ukawalao, kama mzee, ameenda na amechelewa kutika nyubani. Kitabu hende wa no forms. Mzee akichelewa ama mama achelewe ama mwingine akukazi usiku na mwingine hapo mtani. What would happen? Kuja kama mama amelala. Please, isasitaya usiku. Umelala. You are deaf. Mzee amekuja na ini deaf. What happens to him? You are right. Anarana, he just read three parts. Kama siyo hivyo, kuna angri ya kwamba ni kilara na jifunda na uzi ya makamba na itakitolea kwa hile dirisha kwa kwa hapo. Ukuja, just shake the the piece of string. Ukifuruta hivyo, utamuka na nisungwe. Lakini siku zikaenda, mimi nikijua mahali muna ekanga ka uzi, ato mimi nakuja. Kabla mzee akuje na kuja na atingiza na yeye akaa hafikiria na ndana sikuja na kutaka kusimulia mmo mizi kama mtu mwingine So ikafika mahali unakuja una ukishekiwa lazima ni confirm ni ni nani huyo ili niweze ni niende ni nakuwe ndani Na what is sponsor there and it is this to use the vibration more Number 8 use of ice to listen do I need to refer on that? No. That one we have spoken it uh, so many times. And the next one is talking in tongues. Talking in? <laughs> Not in tongues. In tongues. T-U-R-N. Kila mtu anaongea kivi yake. Nagoja kusain, nikimariza na mimi na sign. And why do we do that? Because the deaf use their eyes too. Listen. And there's no way I can be listening to Joyce using my eyes na muangaria and then I'm also listening to you. So if we need to communicate, she talks, she finish, I take over, I finish, you take over. That's what we're talking about. Talking in, in tongues, different kinds. Including kama tumekosana and we are arguing, please, na tunakusiana hata. So, nagoja, umalize, uniongelesha, unitusi, unitusi, ukumaliza, na mimina, nachukua. Until mahali tafika sasa, we need to solve that. I remember a time, some two guys, they were, they, they were arguing. And then, kafika mahali, wanaanza kukusiana. Wewe, uguzi. 
Watu wengine dio wana wanasikia. Na I'm preparing you for it. Sababu taenda kwa dakika nyingine. Kuna mambo mengine hata zaidi na kwa hivyo na ishe. Kwa sababu kana mtu akikunywa chai, anavuruta chai. Hapo <laughs> dabai Mwingine hata kutafuna kutafuna mkia mmoja. Na wewe ufaa kutoa hiyo sauti sababu unaisikianga na unaicontrol. Lakini huyu deaf eh hajui. Kwa hivyo mna kato pale unatoa unasikia mmoja mmoja mmoja. Sikia vibaya lakini jua hiyo sio kitu naweza control. Kuna vi vi kombe vina kolabwa kwa sauti Bahani, when you want to ask you the next point, we are when washing utensils. Maskia, the Jiko, was for ya. And then you ask, Oh, Mama, only had a law. And we had a case, Punamama, the Tora for plot, and other complaint. One, Mabia, the announcers, the other guy. Oh, and I don't know, Jiko, Ama, is. Ile mkoro imekatalia kwa Sofia anafanya nini? Sasa watu wote kwa proto wanatoka. Wakiongea kuna anasikiza. Ana shughuli. Nikuwa wewe wewe wewe. Ana shughuli. Ana wewe. Ana shughuli. Ana shughuli. Then finally wa alibidi ya toke waka complain kwa mwenyeji na wasikiwa. Nasema siku akiwa na mwanake kuna mambo inaendelea kwa nini bana wanasikia mambo possible. Moises, when the commanders, when I go and I'm in charge, but the commanders are not going to be here. So I end up here. When you know what you're doing, when you're doing what you're doing, when you're doing what you're doing, you're going to be here. So you're not Henry. Henry, I'm going to help you there. Come back. Nasikia vizuri kwa hiyo sauti. There's another guy tulikuwa naye hapa. Naye alikuwa anatembea kama paka. Kiatu anatoka ile ya alama ile kuna alama. Sababu najua venye anatembea pengine kwa distance kwa. Hata wewe unasikia. Hadi. Kwa kuna wao wamechajaruka wanajipanga lakini wengine kusikia hiyo sauti sana. Hadi kama Grace akitembea kusikia sauti nyingine anavuruta mikono. Bona anavuruta mikono. Kwa sababu hakulan to time. Wewe unatembeanga vizuri sababu unasikizanga viatu zako. Kifaa ile kiatu tulisema the other day unaibalance kwa sababu unasikia king kong. King kong. Ndio au natembeaga kwa wale wanatembeaga wamevaa kiatu hiyo high heel anaambia king au hiyo nyingine unasikia korobo na unasikia king wa korobo inafaa kuwa inafaa kuwa kama umevaa hiyo long ye the king kong king kong king kong sasa bado unaisikia na unai balance na unapata hiyo confidence kwa sababu ukikosa confidence unaenda and you you fall so unakuta death Chema can remember there's a time we were doing cat walking for the death. You give them a beat, yeah, we walk, and you want them to walk and cat walk. So when you are part of your vibration in the story, no one has any idea. When you are part of the story, and I am going to begin with your name, now you are beating me wrong. I am not going to be able to do it. Chukuli zaka lakini nafota tu hiyo sesto. Tunatabianga vizuri kwa tunajisikia and we can play na wafi. Tunatabianga vizuri kwa tunajisikia. And that's what I needed to talk about health culture. And unless there is a question. I have come to the end of the question. Maybe 
I don't know if come back on the story. Is there any question uh, try to answer that? The man can also help me to answer that. If there is a question, this is the time. If there be no question, we've come to the end of our session. The topic was death culture. And thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Until next time, thank you.